Hello and welcome to Block. My name is Craig Polly and I'm part of the team of Beamline scientists here. I'm a New Zealand national and I came to Sweden as a postdoc at the old I3 and I4 ARPA's Beamlines at the old Max Lab. Block has a lot to offer, but it's firmly anchored around providing world-class angle-resolved photoemission spectroscopy. ARPA's is a technique that's been in the vanguard of a lot of condensed matter physics for the last 30 years. So big topics like high TC superconductors, graphene, topological insulators, and exotic fermion systems. It offers fairly direct insights into the low energy electronic structure of surfaces and 2D materials. The beamline sits on the 1.5 GeV ring at max 4, and it's sourced by a quasi-periodic elliptically polarizing undulator. It delivers high flux and high energy resolution over the core operating range of 15 to 220 EV. Energies up to 1 kV are possible uh, for complementary XPS measurements, but at lower flux. Today we provide linear horizontal and vertical polarization, and we're actively working on commissioning circular polarization over the whole operating range. A really nice feature of block is the spot size down to 10 by 10 microns on the sample which is important for a lot of the samples that are popular right now, which might be very small or have a lot of domains. Block has two branch lines serving two permanent ultra-high vacuum end stations, one for regular ARPAs and another for spin-resolved ARPAs. The ARPAs end station is up and running and taking general users now, while the spin end station is in the installation phase and it should be operating next year. So let's take a closer look. The ARPA's end station is in general operation and serving users. It has two UHV preparation chambers, a scanning tunneling microscope, and the main photoemission measurement chamber, all UHV coupled. The electron analyzer is a DA30L from Sienta, capable of extremely high energy and angular resolution. An interesting new development with this analyzer is the ability to do electronic deflection meaning it electrostatically simulates a polar rotation of the sample. Combined with the very small spot size that we have, this is a really big deal. Once you find a good part of your sample, you don't have to move the manipulator at all to do a full ARPAS experiment. But if you do want to move around, we have a six-axis cryo manipulator to facilitate that. It can reach sample temperatures down to 19K and up to 420K while measuring, uh, and two electrical contacts for direct current heating or biasing the sample. This station also has a scanning tunneling microscope to give complementary spatial information about the atomic structure and about domain configurations on your sample. As for the second end station, the big deal here is this Phoebus analyzer from SPEX. Here we can offer spin-resolved ARPAs with a high-efficiency V-lead detector, capable of resolving all three spin components. Like the DA30, this analyzer also has deflection capabilities. We're excited to let the user community loose on this machine next year. Besides the spin end station, we've still got a lot to do here. The monochromator currently operates with one grading in a CPGM mode, but we're close to deploying three more to offer some more flexibility. We have some tricks up our sleeves for higher order suppression, and we're working on offering well-characterized circular polarized light. The helium cryostats will soon switch to closed cycle models, and we're working on control and analysis software to make beam times more efficient. We know that Block is already a wonderful place to do world-class ARPAs, but we want it to be even better and to be widely known as a top destination. We need your help to come and let the world know about us by doing great research here. So please apply, and we look forward to seeing you.